Hi, Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose and welcome to our channel. We're at Burns Beach Estate in Perth, Western Australia. Now Pete is developing this estate and it's a prestigious estate uh, with manicured lawns, um, beautiful parklands and of course the Indian Ocean at your back door. Now Burns Beach Estate was also named 2021's best developed estate at the prestigious um, Institute of Real Estate Awards in WA. Now in this video we'll also show you inside the display home. This is going to be a beautiful display home by home group. It's a double story. We'll also show you around some of the land that's available and the houses under construction in the area. Okay guys, so today we're covering this, the Perth suburb of Burns Beach. Now Burns Beach lies about 34 kilometres northwest of the Perth CBD and it's in the city of Joondalup. Now I bet you never knew this one guys, the, the land in Burns Beach was ori originally owned by the Midland Railway Company and in 1908 a group of residents got together and petitioned for the land to be turned into residential. So it's going back a long time and then it was bought out by the Wanru Road Board, now the city of Wanru. For years it was only accessible, the land was only accessible by boat or track and functioned as a small village. Okay, so by the 1920s the area was well used by the locals and this um, Burns Beach was actually named after a farmer in the area who ran sheep. Now Burns Beach really started to only develop in the early to mid 1990s. Now I'll tell you a bit of a story about this. In the mid 90s a friend of mine actually bought an old beach shack out here in Burns Beach on a quarter acre block. And I actually know this, the reason being, I actually witnessed his, the bank statements for him, the, the, ba the paperwork for him, for this block. And I thought to myself, wow, a quarter acre with an old beach shack with ocean views for $165,000. He, he eventually subdivided that block and sold it off. Now, I don't know what he made on it, but I reckon he would have made quite a bit. Now in 2001, a census showed that Burns Beach only had a population of 225 people living in about 90 dwellings. And by 2021, the census showed that Burns Beach had a population of 4,071 people. What a, what a population growth for the area. There's also a um, caravan park at the end of Ocean Parade, which houses about 90 residents. Now, Burns Beach is really good, apparently, for dolphin watching and fishing and swimming. Now if you're thinking of moving to Burns Beach, there's a lot of good reasons why you should actually move here. Um, it's got a great selection of quality housing in the area. There's a lot of families, parks, of course the beach is right at your doorstep. And there's also a lot of shopping around the place. So you've got Currambine Shopping Centre. The, these, these shopping centres are all within five kilometre range. You've got the Currambine Shopping Centre, which is across Marmion Avenue. You've got Whitford City, which is probably a 10 minute drive away. You've got Joondalup, which is a massive shopping centre, which is probably about 
a 15 to 20 minute drive away. There's also the Luca Plaza, which isn't too far away, and the Ocean Reef Shopping Centre. Now there's a brand new Burns Beach Primary School which opened in February 2022 in the area but there are other primary schools in surrounding areas and also um, quality high schools. Some of them are private. We'll put that up on the screen for you guys. Okay guys, we'll just give you a, a bit of a rundown on the public transport in the, in, in the area. Now there's two bus routes and these buses will take you through to the Joondal up shopping centre which is about 25 minutes away. There's a train line which is closest one is Currambine train station which is a five minute drive away and it'll take you about 35 minutes to get into the C uh, Perth CBD. It's a pretty good run on the train. The trains are safe and reliable and clean. Okay we're well, at um, one of Pete's developments in a suburb called Burns Beach in Perth, Western Australia. And um, this is, I'm standing on one of the ocean um, side blocks, right on the ocean. You can see the ocean in the background. And um, there's quite a few of these blocks for sale in stages 16 and 19. Now these blocks range in price from 530,000 to 660,000. Now I know it's quite expensive, but this is quite a prestige estate. There's a lot of double stories in this estate. And the blocks also come fully retained. So you've got all your retaining walls in. You've got, uh, you get the fencing with this and you get landscaping included in the price. Okay guys, these blocks vary in size from 344 square metres to 467 square metres. And like I said, there's a few left, so we'll put the link for Pete in the, in the description below for you. Okay, we're standing outside the Providence Platinum double story home, yeah, by Home Group. And it's a big house. It's a 377 square meter house all up on a 12.5 um, frontage block. So, uh, as you can see, it's got a beautiful driveway over here. The um, exposed aggregate. Nice uh, feature brickwork over here. This looks really good. And um, I like these windows over here. They're the corner window. It's quite a big window. And um, huge balcony on top. Looks really good. Double story. We'll go inside now and check it out. Okay guys, we're inside the uh, Providence Platinum by Home Group here in Burns Beach. And just checking, this is the entrance I'm in. Very wide entrance, very long entrance. And a nice feature down the end there, the timber panelling, which looks nice. We'll come through this way. We've, got, we've also got high ceilings in here, by the way. 31 coarse ceilings with a shadow uh, ceiling going around. But no cornices. We'll spin around this way. This here is the guest bedroom. The house, decent sized bedroom in here, and it also comes with its own um, ensuite. So we'll spin around this way. And we've got um, sliding doors over here, a nice robe in there, decent sized robe, and sliding doors, and through here we've got. Um, the shower, this is a, a good size shower for a guest bedroom. It's a, it's, a, it's a big shower, pretty big. With, of course, the, the black um, tapware. And a nice size um, basin over here. So we'll spin back out and we'll come around this way. And um, we've got a toilet in here with a powder room also. That's pretty cool. 
And um, of course the nice light switches over here that, that I quite like on the wall. Pretty cool. Okay, we're in the home theatre now, which is about 4 metres by 3.8. Big home theatre. As you can see over here, there's a seating over here for four, uh, three people or more because they look like double seating. Uh, the shadow line ceiling again over here, which goes throughout the whole house. Um, nice feature wall over here. Check this out. This looks good. Nice feature wall. You can whack a big TV on there. And this is the display version. So you've got the built-in shelving over here with drawers or doors. And that looks quite ne all, all nicely. Um, soft closing. You've got a nice feature uh, timber panelling over here. That looks pretty cool. And if you swing around, the same thing over there. This looks nice. We'll head through this way over here. And we've got the living, it's all open plan. So you've got living, dining, kitchen through here. This is your um, living area over here with the same feature wall over there. Uh, timber panelling over here. And if you swing around this way, you've got the same timber panelling which is pretty cool. I like this house. Through here, we've got the dining. This one here can easily take an eight-seater. There's six chairs there, but you want, if you put one on each end, it'll you'll have eight seats. Massive um, door and window out here. There's, oh, they're both sliding doors. So it's a corner corner sliding door over there, two of them. And if you swing around this way, the home group's famous for their nice kitchens. And this one's no exception. Um, we've got the undermount double stainless steel sink over here. The black tapway again. And um, the stone bench tops. It's a big bench in here. We swing around this way. Uh, we've got more bench space over here with a 900ml Electrolux gas hot plate. And over here, we've got the microwave recess tucked away in there. What have we got in here? I wonder what this is. Oh, here, yeah, just a couple of, um, couple of shelves in there. Put all sorts of goodies in there. Soft closed doors. And the high gloss cabinetry over here. Nice finish. Doors across here. We've got a microwave, um, sorry, I keep saying microwave, a dishwasher recess in here. A nice clean lines. This here is your fridge recess. Takes a double door fridge with overheads again over here. Check that out, guys. To a shelf in there, so you've got plenty of space in there. More over here. These ones lift up, which, which I like. I like those. Just stays there and you push it down. More soft clothes. If you swing around through here, You've got the Electrolux double ovens, which Home Group also gives you in all their houses, double ovens, which is great. These are 600 mil um, ovens. And you push those and they open up. A couple of shelves in there, plenty of storage. So you just push them and they'll close again. Through here we've got the scullery, which has got the um, stone bench tops again with a nice uh, sink in there. There's not a not an undermount sink. It sits on top, like you can see. More um, a lot of storage in home groups houses. A lot of storage. So you've got um, you know, cupboards over here, which open up. There's four cupboards across there. So plenty of storage. And my eyes just been drawn to this um, backsplash over here. A beautiful marble effect. Check this out. This is really, really nice. Feels good. Quality stuff there. Over here we've got the pantry. 
which um, two doors on there, a couple of cans of paint in there, and um, down here we've also got some pot drawers, guys. Check this out. This pulls open. Big pot drawers. There's a couple in there of the big ones, and there's a couple of small ones here. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. There's a massive load of storage in this house. By the way, this is the display home version, and this version I've been told to build it as is. Um, you get everything you see in this house except for um, the furniture. And this house will cost you about $800,000 to build as is. It is a, a um, double story home and we will be going up there shortly. We'll swing around here, and we're still in the scullery by the way, and this year is a fridge recess, so the guys can whack your, you can whack all your beers in there. Great. Summer coming up, get into it. We've got the, the, the nice um, awning windows here, which I've spoken about many times in the videos. Swing around here, and we're in the laundry. Again, the um, stone bench tops over here. Check this door out. I like this door. It's not the usual sliding door. It, um, it's actually a one with a handle on it, and just open it. Glass door. Um, the big trough. That's, that's a big trough in here. It's, I think it's bigger than the normal trough. Nice size trough in there. Of course, with the black tap there again and the overheads. Massive amount of storage. I keep saying that, but there really is a lot of storage in this, this house. And you swing around here yeah, and linen, linen um, walk-in linen cupboard over here with four shelves. So we're about to go upstairs in this house and we don't know what's up there yet so this could be the stairway to heaven. Follow me. Oh yeah, it certainly is. Check this out. This is the activity room. This is about 4.9 by 4 meters. And check the view out there. It's, it's got a huge balcony. We'll go out here and have a look at the balcony. There's a massive balcony out here. And beautiful views over there. The balcony is fully tiled with a nice glass balustrade over here. And if you look behind, behind you over here, there's a, a glass door leading to one of the, uh, looks like the main bedroom in there, but we'll go in there in a minute. Um, the, the ceiling's nicely lined over here with a, with a timber look type panelling up there. Looks really good. Okay guys, this really is the stairway to heaven because it's pretty cool down here. There's a passageway upstairs leading from the activity room over there. And we're going into a swing around this way over here. There's a big linen cupboard over here. It's a, it's a walk-in linen cupboard. It's got a massive amount of space over here. It's got four shelves here. And then behind me, there's another four shelves. There's a massive amount of shelving and storage space. Over here, we've got a, um, a little nook over here with a few shelves in. Put a few ornaments in that. Now the upstairs of this house has actually got cornices, it hasn't got the shadow line ceiling, but these cornices are really nice. Check out the shape of those cornices, they're pretty cool. Okay, we're in one of the minor bedrooms here, 3.7 by 3.9, pretty big bedroom. Um, big, big window over here, it's got, um, I'll just, um, can't, I'll pull that back. Let's check this window out guys, that's actually a fixed window and it's also frosted down the bottom. Have a look at that. And on top here you've got uh, room for light to come through with your standard awning windows which wind out. Which look pretty cool actually, I like that. And if you swing around through here, you've got an actual walk-in robe here. Now this is pretty decent size walk-in robe with all the all the shelving in here, hanging space over there, and more area to put your suitcases or whatever on top. So it's a decent size walk-in robe over here. If you swing around this way, the window's up here. This is above the bed. 
So they they only they only go up a certain distance over here, a certain height, which I think is quite nice because you can put your bed up against the wall over here. So you've got that li natural light coming in through those windows over there. Okay, we're in another one of the minor bedrooms here, 3.7 by 3 meters, and. Um, this one's a decent size also. It's also got the half windows, as you can see over there near the bed. You've got a, a window going halfway up only. And then you've got another one over here, which goes a little bit further up, which lets in a lot of natural light. It's quite a lot of light coming in there at the moment. Behind me here, we've got another um, walk-in robe. Huge, huge walk-in robe here. Yeah? Check this out, guys. Yeah, I'm standing right back here against the shelf. I can swing a dead cat around, yeah, it's that big. And uh, check this out, you've got the nice drawers over here, which soft closing, and um, all your shelving over here with more on top, hanging space over here, nice doors. I like these doors, they're quite, they're, the house has got 31 core ceilings throughout, so these doors are quite high and the framework's quite high. And we swing around this way, and head out of here. Um, there's the toilets through here. That's the toilet in there. It's also a decent sized toilet with a nice window for natural light to come through. And through here, we have um, the upstairs bathroom, which um, services those bedrooms that I just spoke about. This has got double vanities in here, which is a great idea. It's a big bathroom in here. It's got double vanities. It's got the stone bench tops over here and plenty of space for your storage down here. It's great, there's also the floating effect um, vanity cabinet over here which, make, which is off the ground, makes it look like it's floating. And behind me here, we have um, the shower. It's a good size shower. It's not huge, but it's a good size shower. It's got the channel drain down there, which take a lot of water. And over here, if you swing around this way, you've got a couple of um, little nooks in the wall here to put your shampoos and soaps and whatever on there. Now, my eye's just been drawn to this again. This um, tiling over here, it goes from floor to, from floor to ceiling which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Same over here, floor to ceiling. It's got the 45 cuts around the tiling, so that looks good. That's how they should all do them. And yeah, the tiling really looks nice in this beautiful floor to ceiling tiles. If you swing around over here, we've got double, um, double um, sh um, towel rails over here. So we've head out this way. Um, but, uh, it, it, it's actually a wide, nice wide little passageway through here. Yeah? And then of course you've got it down there, like I pointed out before, leading to the activity room which is massive and that beautiful view out there. Now guys, this here is the, the balustrading and it leads down the stairs over there so this is just safety and this looks really nice. The glass balustrading and the nice um, capping on top. So hi guys, this is actually the master bedroom we're going to, and these are pocket doors. They go into the cavity of the of the brickwork either side. These are double double doors over here. So we'll swing around this one. We'll do the the, the robe first. Whoa, this is a huge robe. Check this out. Massive robe. I'm through here, and um, you've got all your shelving, hanging space over here. You've got drawers over there, more shelving over here, on top to whack your suitcase. It's a massive uh, walk-in robe, beautiful. And we'll swing this way again over here. And this way through here is the master bedroom. And it's a massive master bedroom. It's about four meters by four meters. Now check this out. You've got great views out there again. Big, um, big window over here. And if you swing this way, you've got that door I was talking about before, which opens up to the huge balcony out there. And also home group standard 
light light uh, switches here, which is really good. I like those light switches. Now if you swing around this way, you've got some paneling on the on the wall over here, which comes with the display version of the home. If you build the display version, like I said, so that's there, and you've got more paneling this side over here. Same same panelling over here, that's quite effective that panelling and this has got what they call a Hollywood bathroom in it which is just all open plan. Now some of you might like it and some of you might not but it, it is very effective whichever way you think it is very effective. It's got the beautiful freestanding bath over here. That's a big bath. It's pretty deep also. Okay guys, we've, we've got a nice window up here also overlooking the bath. It's actually a louvered window. So you just pull that lever down and it opens up. Let's through a nice natural breeze through here. And we'll swing around this way and um, we'll go through here. I have the, the tilings over here. Again, the floor to ceiling tiling, which really, really looks good. And um, We'll swing around here. We're in the ensuite now in the main area with the double vanities here and uh, the stone bench tops again, which are um, really good with the white uh, cabinetry over here, high, glo high gloss cabinetry. It's a big vanity cabinet. It's got four doors on it and a couple of drawers over there with a, um, a power switch, um, a power switch over there to whack your shaver in or hair dryer or whatever. A uh, big um, mirror over there with more natural light coming through there. The window up there. Uh, behind me here is a hobbler shower. These are popular and very good and very practical in my opinion because you just step straight into it. So this is a big shower. It's got a um, big square um, shower rose up there. Of course, the floor to ceiling tiling. It's got a great drain in here, which lets all your water out, like I've spoken about before. And over here, it's got a couple of nukes in the in the wall over here to put your uh, shampoo and conditioners and that. This one's actually got a shell, a uh, towel rail in the shower. It's a big enough shower, so I don't think that'll get wet with water or anything. It's a double um, double towel rail. And if you swing around this way, you've got the toilet through here, also with the floor to ceiling tiles. And it's actually got a glass frosted door on there, which is very good. You can't see a thing in there. And um, that just stands in place when you close it. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, we're out in the alfresco area over here of this beautiful home by home group in Burns Beach. And by the way, this house is built on a 400 square meter block. So it's a big house, but you don't get much of a backyard. Um, this is a wraparound alfresco that we're, on, that we're on, under here. It's got the, um, the exposed aggregate over here. But this is a nice colour actually, this exposed aggregate. If you swing around, we'll just show you the back garden here. This is, this is basically all you'll get over here if you build it on a small block, because this is a 400 square metre block. So this is basically what you get with the um, artificial lawn over here and a bit of gardening. But it's all done very well, all the gardening over here, the nice trees and that. So if we swing around this way, you've got the shadow line ceiling out here also. See that? It's got no cornice around it. It's just like a floating ceiling. It's called a shadow line ceiling. So if we come this way, um, it's a big old fresco, by the way. It's uh, about eight meters by six meters all up. So we swing around this way. This is where it wraps around and it goes through here. Yeah. And you've got a nice uh, window over here looking into your living dining area through there uh, with more nice garden space over here and um, these sliding doors over here which um, which open up this way, it's a stacker door it's a stacker door, so the, these are the um, fly screens over here and the door starts over here
like that. It just hits, hits into the other door and it opens it up like that. So it opens it up fully or halfway like that. And then um, to close it, it'll just pull close like that, and grab the other part of the door and pull close again. How easy is that? Very nice. Well, that's it for this house, guys. Do you like the house? Let us know in the comments below. Will you build this house? It is a beautiful house by Home Group. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching our video today. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy house hunting.